Following a developing story out of Midtown, five people are hurt following an explosion at a building that manufactures jojoba oil. It happened last night near 22nd Street and Aviation Parkway. News 4 Tucson's Lupita Murillo has been following this story all day. She joins us now live from the scene with an update. Hi, Lupita. Hi there, Allison. Behind me is what's left of the Desert Whale Jojoba Company. It was once a two-story building, and officials say in the back corner is where they believe the explosion occurred that quickly ignited a massive fire. It sent five people to the hospital. Three were released this morning. Two were airlifted to the burn center in Phoenix. The two alarm fire took 46 firefighters, 19 units and three aerial trucks to bring the fire under control. They were pumping more than 4,000 gallons of water a minute. When they got here, they had some massive challenges on their hands. There was large fire, uh, extreme destruction to the building. There was debris spread all around this area. Add to that a broken gas line that was burning, live electrical wires all over the scene. The worst part of it, six employees were inside the facility when the explosion took place. Wow. Well, I sure hope the people are okay. Auden Thompson lives just blocks from the scene. The explosion woke him up. No, at first I was pretty worried that there was a fire that could spread through the neighborhood, um, especially when I saw how much smoke there was. That was also the fear for the Tucson Fire Department as they quickly began protecting the other buildings adjacent to the burning manufacturing company. One of those, a Nixter, is an electrical company that's been there 16 years. There's only a foot difference between the building. The fire department did a great job actually getting it under control. No word, no word yet on the cause of the explosion. News 4 Tucson spoke with the officials of the Desert Whale Jojoba Company, and uh, they just sent an email to me, and it basically says that uh, they are concerned about their 30 employees, especially those that were injured, and they also want to thank the first responders. Reporting live from Midtown, Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson.